product that I use the most probably was, is Expedite. You know, I love Expedite. You know, I feel like, you know, I train for like two hours more when I want Expedite. You know, you guys were accused of tampering. You have issues like this where guys are not coming straight, coming through the front tampering? door. Tampering? Well, you know, that's what it, the accusation was. How do you guys tampering feel about um, the Garcia, um, Golden Garcia. Boy? Um, with Ryan Garcia, Rosen, uh, Oscar Delahoya uh, said, said that Floyd was tampering with Ryan. Floyd Mayweather. When he offered uh, him 200K. Right. For the so how Garcia. do you guys feel about Eddie Hearn now trying to come back after that accusation, now trying to do it to you guys? He said we were tampering? Oscar Delahoya. Oscar Delahoya. Oscar Delahoya. Floyd, oh. uh, uh, one of um, Oscar Delahoy's fight, Brian Garcia, said that he wanted to fight um, Tank Davis, so Floyd Mayweather said he responded to somebody asking for it. Floyd Mayweather, somebody asked Floyd Mayweather, he responded that he would pay Brian Garcia a certain amount of money to what fight another can? guy. To and fight Roly first. Oh, okay, okay. To get, get the tank fight. Rowley, then he could get the tank fight. Right. But the thing was that I guess they were most upset about. Um, Floyd saying that, and then the same night that Tank fought in LA, the same night that Tank fought in that LA. That Ryan was there? Ryan, Ryan was there. Ryan. And he was looking fly, and he was looking sharp. And sharp. <laughs> he, came, he came out to the Mayweather event. Because guess what? That's where he wanted to be. And he went to the party. And he went to the party. Ron Garcia likes fly shit. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? You, you, you see what I'm saying? He likes dressing nice. He likes being around nice looking women. and. He's just a young kid who I admire his personality. I've never said anything to him other than paying each other mutual comments. I like him, he's a cool little dude. But he likes coming to fly shit. You, you, you know what I mean? He know what it is. You, you know what I mean? And, and it's like, of course, I'm sure he would love an opportunity to fight, you know, a guy like Javante Davis, but Brian Davis likes to be around fly shit. He likes to be around fly events with celebrities, with nice looking ladies, and the whole magnitude of these events. So that's why he showed it. I'm never gonna turn down a guy who wants to come because again, we're not saying or doing anything, you know, to him. To I know he's a golden boy fighter, and we have a mutual respect for each other. I, I like how he carries stuff, he likes how I carry my stuff. We talk about the fight, you know, when he's at the fights, it's like if he made a choice to come to a Mayweather promotions event to fight, to, to take a look at a eventual fighter that he might be fighting, so be it. How, how was that tampering when he's the one that Oh, I don't know. I didn't even pay any attention to somebody. But the underlining thing is that there was a Golden Boy card in Indio that night as well. That he chose not to go to? Yeah, he chose not to. But guess what? If you, had the op if you had the opportunity to go to a local fight with some guys that a part of this right here, or you had to come over here to, to come to some fly shit. Which one, what choice are you gonna make? Very obvious. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and it's not like that, it's, 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 it's not like that somebody's putting him in a situation say, oh, we wanna sit down and have a meeting. The guy just wanna come to some fly shit. You know what I mean? If you look around, it was, it, it was Meek Mill, it was, it was a ton, a ton of, yeah, it was a ton, a ton of celebrities there. He wanna see, he wanna see those kind of people at his fights. And he knows the tank brings him out, he ain't seen nothing yet. You, 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 know, you know what so I mean? So would you consider what Eddie Hurd is doing, the actual tampering, by putting out deals, by trying to negotiate with fighter, um, besides going through the proper steps through the team, would you consider that tampering as opposed to what they were Well, it's a, lot, it's a lot of shit that happens on behind the scenes. I know he done done some slick shit behind my back, but see, I just ain't called him out on it. Because it ain't like, you know, it ain't affected me in a way because the fighter know, the fighter know he a clown. Meaning, when I say that, meaning he's a great businessman, I'm just saying that that's some clown shit. You know, but at the end of the day, it's like, the fighter's gonna deal with whatever they wanna deal with. Trust me, Ryan Garcia ain't no damn fool. That's, that's kind of what he is. They're doing a good job over their golden boy, and that's, that's cool. I don't know what, I've never had a conversation with the kid about doing something other than what he's working with, and I don't really care about any of that. But if a kid chooses to come to my event, and 
I didn't get him no tickets or whatever. He came, he had some fly shit. I ain't gonna lie, he came. <laughs> he, the, first thing, the first thing I seen when I seen him, I was like, I said, you looking sharp. He said, man, you stay looking sharp. He said, you know, it's like, but that's the kind of stuff these young guys like. And, and you know, I, th I think he has a great admiration for, for, for Javante. I, I really think that he does. Everything's